at uh, the Campus Theater at Cal State Northridge for the 55th Annual Teenage Drama Workshop. Behind me is the set for an amazing production of Bye Bye Birdie, and I'm here with Savannah Ludwig, who is starring as Kim in the production, and Mr. Alan Rich, who uh, is uh, an amazing friend, mentor, and uh, supporter of Teenage Drama Workshop now for about five years providing a scholarship through his nonprofit organization, We Care About Kids. This year's scholarship went to Savannah, and I'm happy to introduce both of you to our audience. Hello, audience. Did you say hello to the Hello. Audience? Good, good. So Savannah, just tell us a little bit about yourself first, and uh, where you go to school, and your experience at TADW. I go to Champs Charter High School. I'm in 10th grade going into 11th grade. I'm in the Drama Academy. Uh, I was in the Voice Academy, transferred to Drama Academy, and it's a really good experience because it definitely helped me at Tadwa to get out of my shell, get out of my comfort zone, and to be who I am now because I was definitely really shy before and Drama Academy made me a different person, I feel like. And Tadwa has definitely been like one of the best experiences of my life, and this is only my second year, and I hope to do a lot more. What does it mean to be able to be the recipient of the Allen Scholarship? It definitely means a lot, because I talked with my family, and I probably wouldn't have been able to do Tadwa without it. So thank you. You're I very appreciate welcome. it. Alan, you want to talk a little bit about your work with uh, young people? The best thing I do with my life is what I do at Cal State Northridge because I hold seminars for Dougie's uh, classes, and I do like an hour and a half with all the young people, not only about drama, but about life. Being an actor is one of the most important things that a human being could do, because essentially all human beings are naturally gifted actors. You cannot be a member of the homo sapien race unless you have an identity with acting. Because when you go to work in the morning and your boss says to you, how do you feel? You never tell him that you had a terrible night. You always say, oh, I feel great. So we're all acting all the time. The most important thing about acting is that the people out there, when you're a good actor, like Meryl Streep, identify with you, and they know that they're not alone. You have to relate to the audience because everyone has their own personal lives, and I think that everyone feels at least something that you're feeling. Like, I can go into me being Kim in Bye Bye Birdie. I feel like, you know, with my song, One Boy even, I, me only wanting that one boy. I'm sure plenty of people, even adults, have felt that way once in their life. So it's easier for me to react to what they're reacting to me. We can react off of each other. So what you just said has a very good element in relating to the audience. You have to convince the audience that what you're saying is real. Mm -hmm. Like a lawyer has to convince the jury that what he's saying about his client is real. Or a salesman who's selling windows had to convince the client that the windows are wonderful, no matter how bad they are. Mm -hmm. So an actor or an actress must convince the audience that what they're saying is real, and therefore you have to experience what Birdie experienced. Right. It's what's interesting about Bye Bye Birdie, and, and you lived through this time, uh, Elvis Presley and Ed Sullivan and teenagers going crazy about uh, rock and roll and parents responding and the whole television culture kind of uh, taking over in the early, you know, 60s, late 50s. Yeah, you're right, because we did that in the 30s when Frank Sinatra was at the Paramount Pictures. Right. And the little girls screaming, the Bobby songs. Right. So it's, uh, in a sense, it's always been the same. What's it like nowadays, then? 
For well, two. nowadays it's not Elvis Presley and all yeah. of them. It's Justin Bieber, One Direction, uh -huh. all of them. So we have our director, Ray, always tells us, think about if it's One Direction or Justin Bieber. And that helps us a lot because we're not naturally going to think of Elvis right away. We're going to think of the people in our age group. I think she's terrific. Oh, she's wonderful. I'm so Thank happy. You. I think you picked a winner. Yeah. Thank you.